Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, February the 21st, 2023. Welcome to Red Table Talk Forum, and this is my soliloquy. Now, today we're talking about family. I want y'all to remember that it takes a village to raise a child, and it takes God to help raise a family, to keep a family from breaking apart into the many pieces of life. Now, today... You may not know me as a singer, but I wrote a song called I'm in Pieces. And today, not only will God help you, but so will I try my best to help piece your life back together again. That the hopes and dreams that you're searching for, you get the answers and achieve your mission, your goal, your purpose in life. Thank you so much for listening. Now, today, again, we're talking about family. I want y'all to understand that when you are developing your family, I want you to remember it takes time, it takes steps, it's a process, and nobody knows that process better than you the person because you know what steps you want to take in order to gain your vision, your goal, your desire, and hopes, dreams, and the like. Now, again, when you are building a family, I must help you in your love. The reason why I must help you, because I think it's my destiny and it's my purpose. When you pick up, when you pick up my book in the stores, one of my associates, don't you mention his name, has helped me with my book, Love Factor. It's on eBay, Amazon, and so many other bookstore shelves. And yet, it's also online. (laughs) Now, it has 12 chapters in it. I'm simply going to tell you a wonderful story of how love comes to be. Boy meets girl. Girl meets boy. And yet, They came together in a purpose called love. One day, they fell in love. The Bible clearly states that when a man findeth a wife, he findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor from the Lord. I am a wife and a mother, and I was found. (laughs) What a wonderful feeling it is to be beheld by a glorified man who loves you so much that he helps you with your vision as you have helped him with his. And as you grow together in love, may the fantasies of your life come true. Now, for those of you that are into the Bible and you read, you'll understand over the years what all of those wonderful reflective thoughts of the Lord really mean. When you understand what they mean, it takes time to philosophize what God really said to his disciples and then to the rest of the world and then you and me. So for every day that you live, live your best life. Now you're going to have to plan so as you grow older, after you graduate high school and you decided what you want to do as a job or career, you then go and achieve it if you already have not. And when you do this, then you realize how many years you want to wait before you decide to get married, and then how many more years you want to wait after you get married to have kids. And then after you have kids, what is life that you should dare dream on a vacation? And I said, today, we're taking our slow, slow time to actually help you one step at a time, one day at a time to enjoy the life that God promised, that you promised yourself that you try so hard in your leap of faith to make it as you live your love factor life one day at a time by first loving yourself. As you love yourself One must first understand what is self. You could be a girl or a boy, and you're growing up, 
and you're trying to figure out after, you know, teenage years and adolescence and now young adulthood, what is it that you are? Are you a carpenter, car salesman, an entertainer, or are you a brick mason? Are you a person who's into construction? Are you a beautician, an international hairstylist, an international lover? <laughs> y'all know y'all play boys out here. <laughs> so I'm just saying, loving yourself is first. So if you really find out that you have nappy hair, ladies and gentlemen, we that are African American know what that is. I call my sheep booty most of the time. <laughs> it get nappy back there in the kitchen, y'all. That's back here. <laughs> so, <laughs> by the time you realize yourself, you then begin to fix you up. Some of you might start at your feet. Some of you might start at your head and face. So, please understand when you love yourself, you dress yourself up. You put on some nice quality clothes and you dress to impress yourself. In the days of attraction, you are trying to also attract the opposite gender. So when you do this, you are beautiful to yourself or handsome to yourself. And if you are handsome to yourself, you're a gentleman. If you're beautiful to yourself, you're a lady. So when you are in your adornments, wonderful, wonderful clothes that make you feel great about yourself and your personality so strong that it outshines the sun. <laughs> You have to realize that when you are taking care of yourself, you must understand your hair, your eyes, your face, your nose, your ears, those wonderful lips and that mouth, and your neck and your shoulders and everything else that follows. <laughs> now, for those of you that understand the rest of biology, we're going to go slip. So understand when you have to go to the store and you buy some lingerie, you might be wearing silk or lace. And gentlemen, you might be wearing some drawers and other things that we're not gonna mention too much of, but just realize man lingerie. And then you realize that's just your undergarments. What do your outer garments look like? Hmm, well neat, pressed, and if you're wearing business slacks, well, you're a businesswoman or a businessman. However, if you love yourself, then you're nice and well kept and you're clean. So if you are clean, I want you to remember that you don't want to get dirty, but you dress to impress for yourself. Again, if you're a lady, you might wear makeup. If you're a man, you don't wear makeup. But if you are going out and you are getting ready to get on TV, you might wear some makeup. But not, you know, the other, you know, kind of makeup that makes you feel homosexual. <laughs> so just realize that you're a man and realize you're a woman, but you become a lady and a gentleman. As you continue to love yourself, you must understand in your growth, what is it? your career leads you to. If you are a shoe shine lady or a shoe shine girl or a man, you shine shoes for a living. Whose shoes you gonna shine today? Whose shoes are you going to repair today? Shoes break down, they sure do, just like a car, they break down. The soles fall off. Somebody need a needle and thread to help you. And you say, oh God, I just got these shoes. And it's been a year. <laughs> So I tell you, it takes time to look good. Quality takes time. So as you are walking in your life's path, loving upon yourself and realizing how to be yourself, your career will take you many places. In my career, I did many jobs in fast food businesses, and then I did secretarial work, and then I was uh, a security officer that led to being a cop. <laughs> and I eventually got married to Chadwick Aaron Bozeman. And I think that that was a wonderful experience. It takes time to actually understand 
what love is. And when you actually realize step one is loving yourself, step two is where in your career are you? What do you aspire to do? So me, I aspired to be a cop. <laughs> Took all the tests and I got there and a whole bunch of things went wrong. I can't tell you why they went wrong, but maybe it was just my time to do something else. But I did what I aspired to do. And I carried weapons, I protected people, I protected the people with the lottery. I helped them understand security, safety, and their own persona of their Christendom. However, as I went along, I had to realize who saw me, who didn't see me, and then what he saw. So as we progressed, I realized my career took me a lot of places. Some places I can't mention, but some places I can. But if I ever tell you, <laughs> working for the FBI is not that fun, but it can be rewarding if you know what you're doing. And working for Social Security can be interesting at best. When you actually work for the government, it is very strategic, very purposeful, and very... How do I say this to you guys? Organized. Because you don't want to lose track of what it is that you're protecting, which is people, places, and things. The things can be information, but please believe me, my job wasn't easy, but it was very rewarding. And as I progressed in my life, I wanted to get married. And over the years, things happened for me. But it took me time to understand how to wait on God and wait on myself. So eventually one day I took myself out to a wonderful little place called movie theater. <laughs> and I did my hair. I got dressed up in this nice little number. It looked like a red wine dress. And I took myself out on a date. And the dress was like thigh high and it was very beautiful to me. And then one day my husband and I met. And it was a beautiful meeting, just to say the least. And then we began to date in the church. And then one day, we got married. However, certain things didn't happen in America. I got married in Africa. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing to get married in Wakanda. <laughs> and then you have to realize the responsibility of the king and the queen. So as you progress in life, we got married over months and time spent talking over the internet, talking over the phone, and then we met and the church helped us to date. And then one day the church did something, we did something, but then his career took off and we had to go around the world. <laughs> He had to make all of these wonderful movies. And I want you to understand 21 Bridges, 42, Get On Up, Black Panther. Mm, what a legacy he has. But please remember, Marshall, the law still stands and it still applies today. So every day that you live your life, he lived his dream. And my dream is following still but please understand that if you ever see me cooking or learning how to cook again <laughs> spice cheese place where food is your comfort please come on out and maybe one day we'll feed you food cost so please bring your money I want to tell you that being married is not an easy thing being a mother is not an easy thing when you have kids your life changes your schedule changes but kids do not come with a manual. It is a one day at a time process, like I said. A whole lot of prayer, and yet every day, what 
do I do with my kids? How do I deal with the church? How do I deal with my life, my husband's career, and my beginning? Schedules take time. It is a lot of communication. Now, people, I'm getting ready to close out. I have a few more minutes. But that is just the beginning of the chapters of Love Factor. And meeting Chad was a wonderful thing. And I love him so much. And he loves me. But being the king of all of Africa and the queen of all of Africa, is a huge responsibility and every day that somebody sees you you must understand don't hurt us because we're here to help build a nation keep it maintained and understand the order of life from the top to the bottom back to the middle back to the top and then again <laughs> so please love us we love you and we try so hard to do what's right in the sight of God in the sight of man and inside of one another. For the love is there, and God brought it here. But remember to love yourself first. This is your mission for yourself. And as I begin to close out my soliloquy for today on Red Table Talk, please remember that today is your day to love yourself, be yourself, and accomplish your goals. One day, one step at a time, because it is truly a process. When you think of love, think of the hard work that it takes. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 8, talks about love. Proverbs 31 talks about the virtuous woman. Ephesians chapter 5 talks about the man. So when you talk about the men, the women, and 1 Corinthians chapter 7, talks about what do you do in your relationships. And this sometimes can be a forbidden subject, but... Don't let it hurt your feelings. Don't let it hurt you as a man or a woman. Because we all start out as virgins. And one day we get married and then we're not virgins. But we blossom into the people that we're supposed to be. With that being said, remember the book Love Factor. Remember your lives. And understand. Thank you for coming to listen today. To Red Table Talk, my soliloquy today. And thank you for today is Tuesday. February the 21st, 2023. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I thank you for listening. I hope that you found some resolve today on how to love yourself. And remember, loving yourself is the beginning of your life, your career, your destiny, and your purpose. Thank you.